Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 33, and this is war number eight, and we're going up against an alliance called Alpha Empire Assemble. So let's go ahead in here and take a look. Spectate here. Oh wait, I need to do it a different way so that I can see who they've banned. So used to doing the spectate. Continue. Yeah, from here, we do a preview. All right. Now. Okay, so I take path three in sections one and two. We've got no one on that first node. We've got... Hmm, Sentinel, and then we've got a mini huh, Captain Marvel. Who do they ban? Okay, of course they ban Corvus. Um, Ghost and Human Torch. Okay, well, it's not that big of a deal. Um, Claire can take that fight. Uh, this fight, I always like doing this fight with um, Nick Fury, if I'm going to fight her. But, can do, um, let's see, Claire can probably do that fight. Warlock can do that fight as well. Yeah, Claire or Warlock could do that fight, but Nick Fury, we'll see. I may bring him in. Okay, so we've got Magneto here. If I brought Spider-Man, he could do that fight for sure. Korg, Mixmaster, I'll leave alone. Human Torch. Um, Spider-Man can do that fight as well. Also, if I were to bring Nick Fury, he could do that fight. And we've got Nimrod, Claire. We've got Doc Ock, that's also Claire. Ugh. And we have Colossus, and they'll probably have unstoppable armor, don't they? Yep. Figures. That, that, they need to look into that, uh defensive tactic um but anyway um that's an annoying but warlock could probably do that fight if i bring him and then we've got sasquatch hmm if i bring a uh, spider-man 2099 then i might be able to take him hmm I timed out last time. Maybe I can uh, get a shot at him and do a little bit better. Maybe I can get a one shot. But definitely a two shot, but a one shot perhaps. Hmm. If I, see, if I were to bring in Nick Fury, then I can take this mini. No problem. I could also take that Human Torch. But I wouldn't be able to take um, that uh, Colossus. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to swap Warlock with Nick Fury. I think I'll get better use out of Nick Fury for this war. So it's going to be uh, Nick Fury, Black Widow, and Spider-Man 2099. I can't bring in somebody for everybody. So I can take this first mini, but uh, and I can even take that Human Torch, possibly even that um, Magneto down there. But somebody else is going to have to deal with uh, that Colossus up there. And I might be able to take that boss as well. All right. Let's get to the fighting.
All right, we're back. And let the fighting begin. So, as you can see, I don't have Warlock this time, but I feel more comfortable with uh, Nick Fury uh, for this run here. And we actually do get to fight the boss. That's going to be a very interesting fight. It's a rematch, in fact. All right, so anyway, we got this first fight to get out of the way. We've got Sentinel. He's not new. And if you know how to fight Sentinel, he's not really that bad to fight. Uh, one of the things you want to do when you're fighting him, you want to alternate your attacks. So you'll notice that I often do medium, light, medium, as you see there. That keeps him from getting those analysis charges because the more he gets, the tankier he gets, and the slower the fight is. And if he gets full analysis, usually you don't have a good time. Um, even into your block, his special two, for example, will still put um, incinerate on you. So trying to keep him from getting full analysis is a goal, finish him off quickly. So I usually do that with medium light medium, medium light medium. Uh, sometimes I even um, do a light attack after his special one. So I dash back, do a light attack and dash back again to avoid getting too many analysis charges. That takes a little practice and it can be uh, pretty dicey because if you mess it up, you're gonna get hit by it. All right, but we got him down without too much difficulty. Then we've got this mini and this is why I decided to bring in Nick Fury. Uh, masochism doesn't really matter because Nick Fury puts uh, a lot of debuffs on him. A lot, a lot of, um, bleed debuffs his medium attacks his light ending attack all of that so not too worried about masochism um the static can be an issue but my goal is to finish the fight quickly and even if it goes for a little bit longer he's got a whole nother life that you know i can use so not worried about this fight at all Look at that, she's going down very, very quickly. The bleeds are doing their work. I do have deep wounds maxed out and he is the main reason why. It does so much to have deep wounds maxed out with Nick Fury. Um, I, I gotta get, I wanna get some more um, SIG levels on him. I haven't pulled him another time and I don't wanna put any uh, SIG stones into him, but uh, if by the time I finish Act 7 full exploration, if I get that 3 to 4 rank up gem and it's a skill, it'll most likely go to him and I might then invest uh, skill stones into him. But we'll see how that goes. Anyway, when I came back, you can see the middle was cleared and uh, we're into Section 2. And I got to deal with Nimrod. Now, if you've been following me, you know Nimrod on that mini, left mini, uh, section two, he seems to be my nemesis, okay? Um, so far, we've fought three times, and he's beat me twice. And the third time, it was a close match, but I got him. So, you know, we, 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 it seems like we're gonna be battling, because he is uh, someone that they like putting on that nose. All right, so on this node, uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant is still a great option. I'm not too worried uh, because I nullify. And as you can see, I'm trying to play it safe because I don't want him to suddenly go unstoppable and hit me. I really, really hate um, uh, uh, unstoppable armor. I really do. Um, I wish they would get rid of it. You know, I don't like war in the best of times. And that is just an annoying thing. It's just annoying. And you, you'll notice a pattern with me. I don't like things, I don't like long fights. So I'm not gonna like anything that makes the fight longer. Whatever it is, if it makes me have to fight slower, more carefully, and you know, as a result, the fight is gonna take longer, I'm not going to like it. So, very easy way to tell if I'm gonna like something. Does it make the fight longer? Don't like it. 
All right. So anyway, we got him down without too much difficulty. Now we got to deal with this uh, Dr. Octopus, who normally is a very, very easy opponent. But because of unstoppable armor, I kind of have to watch. See, look at that. I couldn't even get a, a full combo in before he was suddenly going unstoppable. Can't stand it. It makes even the simple fights. Look at that. Really annoys me. Look at this. He was unstoppable, now he went unstoppable again. Come on. Can I fight? It's ridiculous, okay? Finally, I was able to do that, you know? And I'm just sitting here just watching, you know? I can't go right in because he might go unstoppable right then. You know, especially when you have an opponent that has a lot of different timers and things going on, it's easy to lose sight of the timer for the unstoppable armor. And so you end up either trying to find it and then get hit in the face because you're not paying attention to your opponent or you lose track of it and it hits you. You find out as he's, you know, hitting you. It's not, not, not good. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Anyway. Uh, so we got here on Boss Island, Mini Boss Island. I did not take the left Domino and Bishop. Uh, I was in discussion, as you see here. I was in discussion, and then I came back, and they were like, yeah, we need uh, some help on that Dragon Man. Okay? So got back in, healed up my Black Widow Clairvoyant, and this node um, is a good node for him, because he gets a power gain and, you know, naturally in his kit, and he gets a power gain because he's on that node. And I have had issues with him on this node. And so I told him, I said, I'll try. I'm, I'm wary about it. See the improved power gain? I said, I'm wary about this fight, but let's try it. Okay. Uh, you saw that I put an invulnerability boost on. That's if he, if I push him to a special three, at least I can do that if I don't mess up um, three times. And hopefully he would not survive that long. All right, so that's the plan. We're still going to try to bait out his specials. All right, now I'm in poison mode, her curse of plague. And then look, boom, there goes the indestructibles. And I, I was sitting here looking at this like, are you kidding me? I was like, are you kidding me? How did I just get hit like that? I don't know, whatever. So now I don't have that safety net that I thought I had. And so now I'm real worried. Okay, now you'll notice that I'm staying in the curse of the plague mode. That's because that's the mode that I have a little bit of power control with uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant. But now I gotta be careful because if I eat a special three, it may take me out no longer have the safety net. I'm just like, man, I don't believe this. You know, um, I don't remember if I still had the input beta on at this time or not. Um, I may still have had it on. Uh, I did eventually turn it off uh, after the update, 35.0 uh, update, because it was um, it was too much. It, it was too buggy. Um, and I, I died because of it and i was just like no thank you all right you see here I'm, I'm getting a little bit of power stealing i still need to bait that out okay we got it but it's unblockable but we we did we did good we evaded it all right and here we go i can at least finish a combo or or not and hit him with a special two all right and he's being very cooperative very cooperative with those specials because he could be stingy and I'd be in trouble. Okay, so here we go. He's he's firing those specials off really nicely. Loving it, all right? All right, here we go. And I'm just cycling those special twos. I'm staying in the Curse of Plague, even though he's immune to poison, because as you see, I can um, manage the power a little bit. Okay, look at this. He's, he's doing well. Loving it so far. And I'm just like, okay, I might I might be able to get this. I might actually be able to win, okay? So I'm looking at his health, I'm like, okay. All right, oh, and now I get hit again. And I'm like, what just happened? See, this is the kind of thing that really ticks me off. 
really ticks me off because I'm doing well, right? I'm fighting. I'm like, yes, I got this. We're doing okay. We're, he's, he's beautiful. He's, he's cooperating. He's doing everything right. And then suddenly input drop and I'm just getting smacked up. And it only takes one. It only takes one input drop for that to happen. I got no chance to recover from that. You know, I said, swipe. It said, no, I dead. I dead. Me dead. So I'm just like, all right, whatever. Don't care. We, you know, I, I was wary of that fight anyway, but I could have had that fight. And I don't like losing when it's to something outside of my control. If it's something within my control, if I just messed up, if I didn't swipe at the right time or something like that, cool. That's something that I can overcome. I can um, practice, I can learn timing better, something like that. But that, there's nothing I can do about that. Nothing. It's just one of those things. All right. So anyway, as you can see, the boss is open and we are going to take the boss. So you'll see me fight this boss. It's a round two cyber situation. The first time I fought him, it was a timeout. So let's see if I learned from that first time. If you've watched it, you've seen that one. Let's see if I learned how to fight Sasquatch with Spider-Man 2099 better than I did uh, the last time where I timed out on him. All right. So let's get to the fight.
you've made a mistake Saying I cannot run this race It's playtime, I'm gonna crush your face This is not a phase Hey guys, I know you feel that face Roll with that until you see my face Rising from a thick layer of fog at midnight There's a time and a place To kill it, I spill it Leak documents from a flaming tongue Rappers acted so safely, but not long ago you were baking, cuz. And now they catch the aroma, wonder what the kid is baking up. And a little secret ingredient they're needing is something for waking up. My flow was caffeine and I'm the black king of spades. Among smaller cards and that scream you hear is mad heat. I am the daddy of cracking the bones of the flashiest chic. No it's given, as I grow up in a robust prison. Everything I think I need is already given. For some reason I am hardly living. Physical needs are what can't be controlled. Give a kid candy, take away his soul. Can't tell the difference between hot and cold. My senses are dipped and I'm sold. But as the credits start to roll, I wake up and I miss the movie. The people around me are swarming like they just saw something that's dooming. Now they're telling me that I miss a lot and I gotta go back and see it. Yet everyone who was watching came out that with a crooked demeanor. These subtleties and half-truths are running my country at large. Shipping this garbage by every ocean, I'm about to sink the barge. Health, war, famine, and money, get rid of those that we have no country. What happened to thinking people love me? These relationships feel so ugly. It's like we're speaking on the surface, but something sounds scripted about all the verbiage. Like everything we think came from another person, and we didn't take time to think if it's worth it. To act as a service to only a few human perspectives. Now we got humanity section by politics, culture, religion, perspective. None of us have entered with depth perception. It's been messed with, and I feel headless. No wonder I'm trying to convert that dude in the uniform to a dead bitch. Get this, my head is full of death cuz It's a dead shit full of phantoms and redness on the walls from a plush shed. No angels left in heaven, and in turn, I'm the one they sent in. Close your eyes and get in. This is one hell of a head trip. Most isolated, now watch that echo. I'm isolated everywhere like presto. I don't really know how to keep a friend. Some say that they don't get though. And that sparks like Roscoe. Now I'm f***ing with all your heads, yo. Through the scope rooftop and I'm bent low. Between heaven and ghetto. It appears that I'm on top now. Figured out there's layers to the And apparently I did learn a little bit from the last fight I had with him. But anyway, we'll be back in a brief moment. And you'll find out how we did in this war. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. And it's a good thing we did because we had a few issues behind the scenes. And I was about to put a couple of people on blast. I really was. I don't usually do that, but I was upset. If we didn't win this war, it was going to be, oh, it, it would not have been pretty. But I'm going to show you. All right. So we have one guy who, even at this late stage, in the war was not there. And we were calling to him, calling to him, come on, come on, come on. He did finally get there, which is why he's not gonna be on blast. So he did finish his path, all right? But then look at this. We had somebody who never even joined. What's up with that? Didn't even join the war, okay? So we actually did this war, um, really one guy down, which you obviously can do, but it added a lot of stress that didn't need to be there. Okay. Um, but in any case, uh, that's going to do it. You can see the score was, uh, you know, fairly close. Okay. Uh, so there was a lot of stress. All right. Um, but take care, hit the like button. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video and you all have a Blessed day.